Hey folks, Papa Boris here, playing some more Cobalt Core. It's time to take the new ship, er, it's time to take this new ship, the Gemini, for a spin. The main idea with this ship is it has two cannons and two missile bays, but don't get too excited. The developers weren't quite gutsy enough to give you a ship that just comes default with two cannons. I think that would have been cool if there was some drawback to it or something about it that actually made that playable. Instead, the Gemini has one cannon and one missile bay active at a time, and each time you play a card, it switches. So unlike the Ares ship, where you can toggle on command and keep shooting out of the same one for a long time, this one you're forced to switch back and forth and you can't toggle on command. So it's a little bit of a tricky ship to play with. We're gonna go with Isaac. I feel like it makes sense because He's the one most likely to shoot stuff out of the missile bay, and having two missile bays seems like it'd be more helpful for him than for anyone else. Books, the new character, which we need to try, and then also Max, because Max is kind of a multiplier on whoever else he's on a team with, and this can maybe help us focus on drones and then the weird stuff that Books does. We'll try it. Okay, so we'll start by just removing two random or two non-random cards. Let's go ahead and here, let's get rid of the basic shots. It's a little bit greedy because it does mean that um, we're losing a lot of combat potential in the early goings. Basic shot is one of our few ways of dealing damage, but Books does have this mage hand. So the way that Books works is, is he has these shards and some cards, there's a part of the card that doesn't activate unless you spend a shard. Shards are another finite replenishable resource like evasion, like drone shift, and the only difference is that you can only have at most three shards, which is relevant for some of the cards as we'll see. All right, let's go ahead and finish that up. Okay, so here, a very important thing with books is when you get your unpolished crystal card, make sure you play it. This adds a crystal shard to your hand and then it stays for the rest of combat. It's your only default way of getting shards. If you don't get this, then mage hand just kind of sucks. In fact, maybe the fact that I have mage hand which comes with a shield was a good reason to get rid of my block instead of one of my basic attacks. But in any case, let's go ahead and do this. Get a shard draw card and then we'll, you know, put on some damage here. We'll do two damage and then... I will be cautious. Let's go ahead and payroll to block that cannon. All right, we get out our attack drone. Let's get rid of the core. And then I think I will actually just get rid of this parallel ship. It's not a very good card. And in the meantime, it's helpful because next time if I do redraw my drone, I'll be able to shoot it out of the missile bay again. Okay, it didn't quite happen, but we get to crystal shard, shoot out of this cannon with mage hand for two damage. We'll add a dodge for the future and stick a drone out here. Now I could save the drone and use a dodge. I think I will in this first fight. In other fights, I would just let the drone die and block the cannon. All right, here we'll do this again. Let's put another drone out, get a dodge for the future and then get basic block out of the deck. All righty, well. Here we have a little bit of an awkward situation. Let's add a dodge, mage hand to block, and then I suppose we'll just move over. I can either make a drone for the future or I can re-roll. Let's just re-roll to keep some shield. This thing's almost dead anyways. We just need a shard. Now don't shoot your mage hand yet, coming out of the wrong one. So, you know, we play some other card and then we mage hand for the finish. Okay, we can get another one of these. I think that's a bit aggressive. This is, again, a little bit aggressive. It's it's tempting. Like, sometimes if you get it in your hand at the right time, you can just block the enemy and kind of save, save yourself for a round. But I feel like it doesn't really do that much. Let's grab the Solar Breeze. Sometimes it is helpful to move the stuff out of the way of the missile base so you can play more missiles or missile-type objects. Okay, so what can we do here? We can get two repair bays and two elites and both ways of doing it we ended up with the same thing an event an enemy and a repair bay event enemy repair bay okay so which order do we want to do things in i think first let's do this 
That way I can get a card and maybe if it's a really important card, I can upgrade. That. Hang on, I'm wrong. This is only one elite. Oops, okay, we have to go this way then. Okay, one very important upgrade is attack drone. I really like to get attack drone B so that it can block a cannon shot but without dying. Oh, this is a really good one. So we get two random upgrades. That This is one of the best events ever. I love this thing so much. You can either get a particular upgrade or two random ones. What I'm gonna do here, I think, is get um, two random A's. The reason for that is that the A upgrades of the basic cards make them all free. So if I hit any of these, it'll become easier for me to toggle my cannons without uh, spending energy to make sure that you're shooting out of the right thing. If, it, if I were not playing with the Gemini ship, I would have actually gone for the B. I prefer this B for the unpolished crystal shard. I prefer this B for mage hand. I like this one a lot actually, because it makes it so the two attack is guaranteed and the shield is contingent on the shard. Notice it flips where the shard cost is. So if I get this on A, it's a little bit annoying, but um, because I'm with this particular ship, I want these cards to maybe become free. We'll get two random A's. Okay, we ended up not getting any of those, so our reroll blocks an extra, and this has the buoyant property, which means it always starts out in your opening hand, which is good, because it means you always get your shard before you get your mage hand. Alright, we're up against Wizbo an asteroid field that's totally fine okay so always play this when you first get it unless something really terrible is going on because you want your mage hand to be active okay there it is now I guess what we just reroll to block this damage call it a day right, that's a gap I'm not actually hitting anything here well we'll put out the hmm. if I put out the attack drone then I can't solar breeze it'll cause it to miss so I guess we'll solar breeze first then the attack drone then a dodge, and then we get rid of this core because nothing else does anything. All right, our Isaac cards go kerplunk. That's actually fine. This one's free, so we can get rid of the status effect. Crystal shard and mage hand. All right, now I could move to save the shield. I don't think that's worth it. Let's just get our block maxed out and do some more damage. Okay, so here, Crystal Shard, Mage Hand hits, uh, get a dodge, get a basic shot. Should I cycle through the deck? Sure. Actually, that was a mistake. I could have drawn this Toxic thing and then I didn't have the energy left to play it. So that, that was not the correct thing to do. Okay, so we gotta play this or else we're going to start taking hull damage. Gotta get rid of this. And what? I need to play this so that this actually connects. No, oh, thanks for moving into position. Appreciate that, fella. I have a crystal shard so we can mage hand, do more damage, and I think we're done here. It's over. Okay, well, you know me, I love cloud save. At the moment, it doesn't really do much, but it can get me an extra crystal shard, and if I upgrade basic dodge to this version, it can give me an extra, you know, one of those. And it's debatable, because I don't have much evasion. This is the only source of evasion I have, so it seems like basic dodge A might be better. I just feel like I always take this, hoping that for the future it'll do something amazing, and it never does, but I'm still gonna do it. All right, now we fight our first of two elites. This is a tough one, lots of cannons, and this ship doesn't really, well, our crew doesn't have a whole lot of evasion. So what I'm gonna do here is move, so we can put attack drone B out in front of that cannon. Now we get a shard, it works out well. We get to mage hand for four damage at the weak spot. And I am cashing in my armor here, which is a little risky. Alrighty, well, luckily this blocks all the damage, so I guess we'll take it. And I don't want a parallel shift, I, don't, I actually want this thing to continue shooting there, so we'll what? Admin deploy to get rid of basic shot permanently and then also get rid of corrupted core. So a bit of a building turn here I did cash out all of my armor. No, no, no. It's only my temp armor. Okay, so it's fine um, Now we're getting hit for three and we can't dodge out of the way of it 
Okay, well, let's draw a card, see what we get. Let's draw a card, see what we get. Aha, reroll. Quite a useful card, I must say. So we'll do that to block all the damage. We'll Mage Hand to hit for two. And then um, I don't get a chance to get the basic block out of the deck, unfortunately, but that's fine. We'll dodge and call it a day. Okay, taking two damage here. Attack Drone B. What did I exhaust? Unpolished Crystal? Seems a bit aggressive. Let's just shard it up. Sh shard it up, baby! Okay, do I win? Hold on. Um, if I do four, it goes to five. No, not quite. What if I parallel shift? So it's four, six, seven? Not quite. Okay, so we'll just keep it simple here. And parallel shift? No, no, I want this to block the damage. So we'll just pass. Okay, now we can... Ah, we're out of shards, unfortunately. How do I, ha how do I have... Ah, okay, well, whatever, I'm not gonna puzzle over it. Let's um, move my drone out of the way of my cannon. Reroll to block the damage. Get a dodge, get an armor. Unfortunately, that's all we can really do here. Hopefully, we can take advantage of this to kill it next time. So, we do what? We shard to switch that this one is active, then we put a drone there that's two damage. And that's about it. That's about it. Alrighty. Well, luckily we're not losing any hull here. And then next time, next time, next time we win. All right, what the hell is this? Take a hull damage, three damage, and then if you have two shards, you heal one. Interesting. This is actually also interesting. Must have played several cards. You'd have to have some free cards for this to work. I do have some free cards, Solar Breeze, and then of course the Crystal Shard, but these are not free, which is gonna make that more difficult to play. I'm gonna try this, this is weird. We're gonna need to get some shards. All right, so evade every fifth attack or brittle. Let's go for the evade since we don't have that with this deck. Shard Enchanter. The first time you play a Crystal Shard each turn, gain a Temp Shield. That's a little bit weak for a crew-specific artifact, I must say, but we'll take it, because we have no other choice. Oh, good, the missiles. All right, well, we'll get a random artifact here. Actually, we can get missiles, which maybe makes more thematic sense. All right, let's get a Shard out of the way. We'll get a dodge, because that's important. Draw a card, and... I can either get rid of this for the future or get a drone shift for the future. Let's get rid of this. Okay, so this is nice. This is actually really nice. Everything misses except for this. So all we have to do is basic shot that thing. Let's get the right cannon going and then, um, you know what, actually? Yeah, let's bring this back. Let's get multiple shards going. Okay, I'm guessing now you're gonna get hit by your stuff. Okay, this is fine. So what we do is, we, yeah, hold on. Let's, let's see if we can draw our drone. We didn't, but we get another draw. Aha, okay, perfect. Now, we need to first play something. Eh. Oh, hang on, I can actually use this, um, but I need to play something out here first bummer okay we're gonna just do this now we'll attack drone here and unfortunately that's all we're gonna do so we are gonna get corrode and two extra damage going okay hopefully this turn goes better solar breeze makes this thing miss but I want to shoot down this thing first then solar breeze and then let's get rid of this parallel shift Okay, so we're getting two more damage on. Three because of the Corrode from last time, but I think that's worth it overall. All right, we actually have a pretty good turn here. We can switch over here, shoot the homing missile, and then we can just use our drone shift to make the others miss. So we're not gonna use Solar Breeze here. We'll collect a block and a dodge for the future. Block is actually already full. And also in this combat, we, don't, we never take any damage, so I shouldn't have cared about the block, but it doesn't actually matter either. Okay, so here, I think I'm gonna do this to just, oh no, I, I hit him for three, that's not good. Okay, never mind. Okay, 
bit of tech. If you do this, it causes the cannons to switch before the other card goes. So this will actually shoot down this missile. Okay, now we need to hit... Actually, there's only one turn left. The homing missile is more important. It probably doesn't really even matter, but we'll use the drone to blow up the homing missile. Let him get corroded. He'll take two, and then he'll fly away next turn by that before taking the corrode damage. This is perfect. We can mage hand to blow up that one, and then um, see if we can blow up the other one. I mean, I don't even know what attacks I have. Just the bloodstone and the mage hand. That's fine. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So we don't even need to do this. This is not necessary. But. I just did it for completeness sake. And note again, on the last turn, Corrode doesn't happen. Okay, so normally I would take the random artifact. However, since we are playing with the Gemini, might as well grab the Seeker missiles. So it's a homing missile that deals two damage. And uh, since I have two missile bays, it's easier to get them out without interrupting anything. Okay. Well, let's get our crystal. All right, this I don't think I'm gonna do at the moment. Very weird card. Now, I don't wanna shoot this. I also don't want a parallel shift to move it out of the way. So I suppose what we do here is we get rid of the corrupted core, mage hand for two, and then use our starting evade to dodge. All right, well, we can block the damage with this. Put out an attack drone, solar breeze to have it block the cannon shot, and then put out a seeker missile. Pretty cool, I'm happy with it. Okay, taking three here. We can solar breeze to block it, also clear out this missile bay. Do need to play another card first to have it come out the correct missile bay. There we go. Now we can dodge and then sneak a basic shot in there. All right, three. So I guess we block it with the reroll. Shoot that for two damage, put a seeker out. And I don't have two shards. I need more shards to be able to use that card. That card is currently, unfortunately, doing absolutely nothing. All right, we switch, we seeker. And I gotta say the seeker's pretty handy. Guess it's pretty lucky to get Soggins with this ship. Okay, bubble field, I don't, I don't like this. It's really expensive, although you can make it free and only once. Hmm, that is tempting. It's really cool to be able to recharge the bubbles on any drones that have been hit. Oh boy, I mean, I could use some damage as well, but, and also the fact that it exhausts everything might make cloud save better because you can bring more stuff back to your hand. I don't know, we'll just take the bubble field. We'll try it. All right. Draw a card every time you miss, or energy every third turn. We'll take the free random energy. And I think we'll go ahead and upgrade this bubble field right away to make it usable. Two energy is kind of a lot to ask, in my opinion. Okay, well, let's get our crystal. And stick a... Well, so I'm actually taking damage here. I need to do something about that. Either commit to using my evade. Well, I guess I can also commit to say, well... Now this just uses up all my shields. Very well. This is just two damage, it's not the end of the world. We'll just play this and call it a day. Also, in this combat, I actually could use that Bloodstone card because it's the boss and we're gonna heal for a bunch. Beg your pardon, take a shoot. Okay, here I don't really wanna play Admin Deploy on Parallel Shift because it shoots the shield off of this for no reason whatsoever. So we'll play these, oh yeah, the reroll is actually kind of nice. I can get this basic block out of the deck. Okay, that's actually perfect. There we go. All right, well, this does nothing. Cool. So let's draw a card and get a dodge. We'll do this to just draw a card. Aha, very nice. And do I get a card back? Uh, I should have maybe done another unpolished crystal. As it is, we'll just trade this for an unpolished crystal and play that in the future. And we'll use one of our evades to not take hull damage. Yeah, that's a lot. Oh boy. Okay. Well, we have a pretty good turn here. We can 
put out the drone and parallel shift it to block the big shot. And this blocks all the remaining damage. And what the hey, let's do three free damage. I feel like this is going pretty well. Let's get some damage on. So we're taking another four here. Uh huh. Well, dodge is good. It can reduce the four down to two. That's fine. The Seeker Missiles, they don't block cannons, by the way, because they um, will hit before the cannon fires. Should we just Solar Breeze? It does take the shield off of this. But it means I don't need to move right now, and I can save my dodge. Okay. Well, I suppose we draw. Put the drone in front of the one. Reroll to block this damage. Hit. And parallel shift is counterproductive here. No, actually, I have an extra temp shield, so I think this is not counterproductive. Um, and then we'll pass on this. Although I should have maybe shot this first. Right now, it's just shooting it in my drone, and I don't want to use evade to put that on. Okay, taking another four here. All right. Again, the bubble field does nothing. Cool. Well, that's actually pretty helpful. Now we're down to just taking two. Unfortunately, there's not much we can really do to improve that. But that's fine. So we'll take one hull damage. We're still healing to full, and we only have to do three more damage to finish this off. So I think we're probably fine. Okay, we can draw a card first. So now we just need one more damage. And there it is. Okay. Very good. Very good. I don't know why. I don't know why I'm playing these cards. I don't know why I'm doing it. Okay, there. We 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 now only take the temp damage from this cannon in case something goes wrong. All right. Well, what do we got here? Rock factory. Launch an asteroid at the beginning of each turn. I don't think I want this energy drone. Hmm. Get more energy, and it can be free. Only once per combat. Draw all zero cards from your discard pile. Gain an energy. Draw all zero cards from your discard pile. That can be really cool if we if these cost zero. Unfortunately, my two random A upgrades missed all of these. And upgrading all of them just to make this work better seems tough. All right. We'll try the energy drone. You draw one less card, but the first three times you play a card, you draw a card. So, okay, so as long as you play at least three card, it does nothing. But if you can play more than three cards, if you can play six, you get free draws. The first time you play it, I like that one a lot. What can that do? Well, right now, I can just do this twice. I can do this twice, which might not be a good thing. Um, yeah, basically, it's a good way to get more shards. Because the first crystal shard you play actually draws you two cards. And also gives you two shards. And then simplicity, of course, is always very tempting. I can get rid of this junk, this junk, and what else? I have Solar Breeze, so we can get rid of this junk. Just clean up the deck a bit. It's tempting. Hmm, these are all tempting in their own ways. All right, let's grab the flow state. Might be wrong, but we'll try it. Alrighty, so we get our crystal. Play it. Um, hey, look at this. We're gonna put an energy drone out. Oh no, no, it, it doesn't block the cannon shot. Never mind. Never mind. All right, let's um play this. Okay, so we energy drone here, and then either mage hand or seeker. I, what, what do I think is happening here? I guess we have to mage hand and not take all damage. Okay. And I, I'm just gonna play this to get rid of it. So let's make this a bubbled up energy drone. Okay. Now, my drone is gonna miss, but over here it's just running into my energy drone. I don't wanna use my evade just to make it hit. So we'll just um, put it out in space get a dodge get rid of the core 
and I can get a bubble field out. Nice. Or we'll just do a damage. Yeah, I would I would take a card here that helps my drone or my my shard income. Okay, another energy drone, huh? Fine, we'll do this. Put the drone out here. Launch a launch a drone here. I guess I will do this. This. Oh, hang on. What am I? What am I doing? Okay, now I'm taking a hull damage. Crud. I don't know why I did all that. You know what? Fine. We'll use our last evade to not take any hull damage. Hopefully, we can get enough damage on here to not have to pay for our insolence with that too much. I can get back an energy drone, unpolished crystal, or bubble field. All right, let's get back bubble field. Actually, I'm gonna take this because I have so much energy. It's just insane how much energy I have. We need to we need to get stuff played. Okay, seeker missile, homes in. Okay, I have two shards, so I can actually do this and not pay the price. I can solar breeze, but that moves these attack drones further out of the way. So we'll just basic dodge instead, so we can sneak a basic shot in there, and then we'll put a basic block out for reasons. Uh huh. Well, this is fine. We can reroll, stick a drone out to block the five. Now stick a drone out on this side. Draw a card, basic block, sneak a shot in here. And that's over, right? Okay. Yeah, it's fine. I'm happy with that. Alright, all reliable. You start with a geode. Which, okay, that does do the job. It starts in your opening hand, you play it, and it puts a geode out of your missile bay when the geode is destroyed by you or by the enemy, you get a shard. And there's also this weird thing. You get a shard, and you do zero damage, or you can um, flip it. You can choose which mode to use, or you can just pay a shard to do one damage. This is good, because the Brooks has this other card where you can pay four shards to get plus one damage to all your attack cards for the rest of combat, so that turns into like a free basic attack. But let's grab all reliable because that gives me an extra blocker in the first round of combat and it gives me a shard. All right, here we can do one of the elites and two repair bays. So we gotta go this way, because then if we go up, we get to get this extra event, we only get one repair yard. Lots of events here, okay. And only two total regular enemies, which is nice. Oh, this is a big one. Okay, well, let's block one of these with the geode. Crystal shard. I was really hoping to get a drone, but that's okay. What we can do here is just do this for the damage. And then we have, we have to act. I was thinking to dodge for the future, but currently I would lose all my, eh, you know what? Fine, let's get, let's get a dodge for the future. And in fact, I'm gonna do a weird thing. I'm gonna bubble field this geode. It means I'm not getting a shard, but that's okay. Uh, having an extra blocker, I think, is more useful. All right, well, we'll get a block. We are gonna mage hand for two damage. I don't want a parallel shift. It makes me get hit by a missile. We'll get rid of the corrupted core, I suppose. Ah, we, I was gonna say we're gonna waste the extra energy, but nope, we got this. That's fantastic, it blocks the missile and sticks around thanks to its shield. All right, we're, you're missing with everything, great. Well, I can't shoot this out, it's <laughs> my, my geodes in the way. Do I use the dodge just to, no, no, I have a solar breeze, what am I doing? Okay, yeah, well, solar breeze, stick the energy drone here, bring back bubble field. And then I can still draw a card, get a geode, or a shard, and... Oh, no, I'm out of energy. What am I doing? Okay, I did let these big missiles launch there, so that may have been foolish. Okay, well, we have a lot of damage coming at us here. Let's see. I can block one of them with a reroll and then just use one of my dodges. Yeah, so let's do this. Ah, I can actually bust it. It's 
there a point to doing that, though? Mm, no, there isn't. We'll move. Man, it feels bad, but I think it was worth it to just actually put that to use and not get hit. Ah, we get to do this. Two damage. My energy drone is going to go away, unfortunately. Hey, we're taking no damage here. That's lovely. Well, let's get a drone there and a drone there. Look at the Gemini action. Now I can't shoot my secret missile out. I've got too many drones. Well, we have a lot of evade here, so let's go here to do the basic shot, I guess. There was... Oh, here we go. I could do Solar Breeze, and then what? Launch a Seeker Missile? Yeah, let's do it. It's a bit aggressive, but... I hope it's not homing missiles. Yeah, okay, thank goodness. All right, now... Start with a draw. Seeker for two damage, sure. Two damage, sure. Dodge for the future, and let's do another attack. Pop, and that's the death, right? Okay, great. All right, we have another chance for mining drill. I think I'm gonna pass. Let's, let's stop adding stuff to the deck, try to upgrade what we have. Okay, so here, energy drone to be free, but only one seems pretty tempting. Yeah, I think we'll do that. It'll be easier to get it out. It also works well with our flow state. All right, we're gonna take some damage here. Let's block the cannon shot with old reliable. Get a drone out. Um, energy, I can't move if I, if I, I can't play this if I don't dodge. That's fine, we'll just leave it for the future. Let's draw a card. I can put back old reliable or the unpolished crystal. Let's take a dodge, because evasion is very helpful against this ship with all the gaps. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to be great at killing this ship fast before the solar flare does damage to me. Hmm. Okay, I think I gotta do this just to try to draw into something to do here. We are facing a whole butt ton of damage. Suppose we'll get the temp shield up. This does block all the damage now, so we can mage hand to do two damage that way, and then seeker missile to do two damage that way, and then we'll pass. All right, two more damage is fine. I will be taking a whole damage here rather tragically. We hit. Seeking. Drawing. And what? I'm not hitting. I'm in the way of my drone, unfortunately. Let's get rid of the core. Yeah, so we took some hull damage there. Hopefully we can kill it before the next solar flare. I'm not sure. Do I want this thing? Okay, I'm gonna be weirdly aggressive. We're gonna go here. We're gonna put out the energy drone off of one missile bay, and then the attack drone off the other. We gotta, we gotta get cracking here with uh, these drones and the damage. Okay, let's bring back what? Everything already has shield because I just played that. All reliable crap. I guess we'll bring that back for the future, but that's probably a mistake. Okay, so the ship is in line with my cannons, so I can do Mage Hand. And what else here? Seeker Missile, I guess? You know what I would have actually liked to do is uh, move everything over. Okay, so we'll do that. Do I parallel shift? I think I do actually. Blocks all the shots and it puts two hitting the enemy instead of just one. Ah, oh, man, we're just not quite getting there with the damage. Six. Yeah, unfortunately, I am not gonna get there. Unless I 
can do enough with the bloodstone shot? Ah, uh, sure, let's try it. So now we need to do just a bit more damage. Oh my god, Mage Hand is my savior here, isn't it? Well, that and the secret missile. The Solar Breeze for free. Mage Hand to hit the crystal. And then... We just need another basic shot. So we'll add and deploy to basic shot, kill this thing. And then we don't take the damage from the fire because the enemy's dead. Okay. Shield drop. This actually is good now. I'm playing a lot of cards every turn. I'm going to try it. And we need some more damage. Okay. This is fun. This is good with drones. I'm going to take the more aggressive one rather than the defensive one. Uh, it's one of these. Healing damage or evasion. I'll take the evasion and we'll, we'll save it for the final boss of this world shield last between combats I actually often do have extra shield left over because of mage hand hmm I don't think I have anything that works with this but we'll try it we don't have any overdrive or um escalating we don't have anything that works with movement and we do not have the thing that gives you back energy when you play a three cost card although this does count as a free card play because you play it for three and then you get three back so it does count as a free play for flow state you know what i'll take it okay two weak spots but this is the one that they get coded after you hit them one time let's think about this i can use my starting evade to put all reliable in front of one of these cannon shots which i think i should do i guess we'll do this to draw a card and see what happens first Let's keep drawing before we attack for one must have played four cards well we'll get there we'll get there my friend so let's um go which way uh i think no matter which way i move one of one of these is going to be hitting my weak spot right so it's not like i can avoid that i guess We'll go this way, all reliable, to block that one. Do this for six damage, pretty cool. And then, these basically accomplish the same thing. So we have no block left. And we're gonna have, oh, it's a mine. Okay, that's not too bad. If I do this, I exhaust this, which is okay for six damage. What can I bring back? I can bring back all reliable. That doesn't really help. Let's do a drone. Ah, this is not that helpful though because there's two shots coming at me. I would have loved to be able to dodge this turn. Okay, we'll, we'll do this. We'll use up our shards, do six damage. Aha, reroll is very nice here because that means I, well, no, this this is a problem. This hitting my weak cockpit here, this is four damage and then this is another two, that's six. So I still take three hull damage. It's a major problem. It's just a major, major problem, unfortunately, no matter how you slice the pie. Um, yeah, I don't have anything that I that will let me move Okay, we'll block one. We'll block one of the damage with that, I suppose. Do I just do this for the extra card play? Fine. Um, we'll play one of these in the future. Oh, I guess I play that now because I have nothing better to do. Bubble field. That's actually helpful. Uh, it means that this thing takes both of the shots. So now I, in fact, don't take any hull damage. Okay, you're gonna hit the bubbled mine. It does not do damage unless you actually destroy it. So we have this for the free card play. I don't want a parallel shift because that would move this out of the way. So I suppose here we do this. I still don't want a solar breeze. Actually, I can parallel shift just to get a card play. Oh man, I think I think we need to spend the dodge in this combat. I think we just gotta do it. Do four damage, get the hell out of here. So it's a shame not having it for the boss, 
But I think it's okay because hopefully, you know, with the boss, we can take some damage and heal up right away. Space mine. We can make it a flippable shift or a big mine. Hmm. This is a fun card, of course, drawing lots of cards. But since I already draw one fewer card, it makes the two less cards next turn a real headache. Of course, you can upgrade it to have one less card the next turn. Let's try the space mine. It might be a mistake. It might have been correct just to pass all those. All right. Looking at our upgrades. One extra damage. It seems like a lot. It just an upgrade for one extra damage. It's already three damage for one energy. That's already pretty good. I think, let's take a look at these. What the hell is going on here? Left three and a Seeker Missile? That's actually amazing. Or you can upgrade the cost and launch two Seeker Missiles and also get the left three movement. Fascinating. I did not realize these missiles upgraded so curiously. Let's do this. We don't have a lot of evasion. This movement could be helpful. Okay, well, here we are up against evil rigs. So, what happens if I move three? It doesn't really help. It's the same thing. I'm, hit, I'm getting hit in my weak spot. Okay, so we'll do this. We'll stick all reliable right there to block two damage. Draw a card. Bubble field. Why yes. Although, it'd be nice to get the drone out. Okay, so I suppose what? We seek first, then we put out the energy drone, then we bubble field everything, and then let's get rid of the corrupted core for the future. So now we take one armor damage, we have an extra energy to work with next time, and this is happening. Okay, well, let's block that shot, get a free card play, dodge. Do I want a Solar Breeze? So this one will hit me, but then this two won't. But then my drone is still blocking me. I'm trying to figure out if I can get a shot in without having to uh, play this thing. Okay, we'll play it. Maybe the card draw we get will help somehow. Well, the Parallel Shift lets me basically spend an energy to modulate my cannons. We now can do this for four damage. And then we'll do this, and then we'll just use the drone shift that we got to put everything back. I am taking a hull damage here, and moving over, I'm still taking a hull damage. Oops. Okay, we're taking a hull damage. Uh-huh. Okay, so we're just taking the damage from the missile right now. That's two. Perfect. Even with the weak spot, reroll A blocks it. So let's mage hand to switch, then reroll, and now the space mine is coming out in the wrong spot, unfortunately. So I guess we'll just, I'm gonna save my, I'm gonna really try to save my evasion. We'll just do a block for the future. Now we get to draw a free card. Okay, how nice. Okay, taking three here. This, mm, it helps, it actually does help, but if I could shoot this, it would stop a missile from coming out. Is that relevant though? I don't think that is, if I'm moving away, it doesn't really matter, does it? Okay, Seeker A, whoop. And now we're getting hit for a bunch. I can dodge out of the way of, no, I can't, because this one is still coming at me. Okay, let's draw a card. See if I get something that's helpful. This is actually quite helpful. Okay, so we just need to play something like this. Stick a drone out here. And then I could do this for three damage and take a hull damage. Yeah, let's do it. Let's put it on. We're still healing to full after the combat as long as things don't go terribly, which of course is a big as long as. All right, now I think this is the time to drop a space mine and use some dodge. Actually, can I return something useful? I can get back a bubble shield? Uh, maybe I can get back an energy drone or even this. Oh God, overwhelming amount of options. What I would have liked is just a basic attack to clear out this missile. 
Unfortunately, that's just not happening. And so, yeah, I am getting hit for a lot of damage. I should probably try to think about that. Okay, let's draw a card, see what happens. Um, parallel shift, fine. Stick a drone out here. Moving left three puts me in these. Mm. Fine. Now I can dodge and space mine. Okay, didn't get to play this. That's fine though. I'm happy I took no damage. And the space mine does, you know, two damage in addition to blocking the shot. So I feel like that was very useful. Okay, we're taking another three. Let's uh, shoot. Get a shard. Shard it up! Okay, and then we need to do this to get rid of that basic block, I think. Ah, Seeker A. So you first move three, then you shoot out, but then that is bad. We just need, we just need to block the damage here. And I'm not gonna play that at the moment. All right, just taking two damage. What a joy, just taking zero damage, how lovely. Okay. What can we bring back here with the cloud save? Not a whole lot. I don't want a solar breeze because that screws up everything. Well, I could solar breeze and play another attack drone out of here. Eh, fine. Oh, right, because the missile moved too. All right, we're just going to pretend that didn't happen and add a dodge for the future. Ahem, 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 ahem. Taking another three. All right, let's bring back all reliable. Block the one with it. Just put some damage on where we can. Pop for three. And let's, let's get another dodge out and call it a day. Doke. We can actually do this without taking damage. And that's all, folks. Except there's a whole other level after this. But, you know, that's all for that fight. Okay, Energy Drone B. Wish I already didn't have an Energy Drone B. This weird thing. We're just going to skip that. I love this thing. This is so bad and yet so amazing. It replaces your cockpit with an empty space, but you lose half your hull, half your max hull. Now we actually have two different ways of getting one extra energy per turn. I don't think I want either one. I don't want both my cannons to be weak and I don't want to be adding trash to my deck. We've lost because of that, I think, in the past. So we'll just take this amazing trans-dimensional cockpit. Looking a little weak on the hull damage there, but that's fine. You know, you make up a lot of that hull that you're missing by having enemy cannons miss your cockpit. Your weak cockpit, might I add. Look at that! Look at it! It's already, it's already there! Okay. So, let's put out Old Reliable to block that shot. And we can get it in the crystal. Uh, yep. Let's just play the stuff. Now, I suppose it makes sense to do this just for the damage. And... We'll add a dodge for the future. I'm going to judge that the dodge is more valuable than um, getting rid of the core. Okay. So I think we do what? Do I bring back old reliable or the unpolished crystal? It'd be cool if I could shoot the drone out here, solar breeze it, and then bubble field it. So yeah, I'm going to do this slightly not optimal thing just so I can have this come out of the correct spot. So we bubble field. And now I really want to play this. Yeah, I can play it. So now what we need to do is do that to switch our cannon over here. We get this damage on. Now we can solar breeze to block that shot. And stick a drone out for the future. Okay, that actually worked out fantastically. And this flow state has not been bad. I think it actually works, kind of. Okay, this is a little weird. I can't actually mage hand without dodging. Um, fine. This means our energy drone misses comedically. Okay, this means I... Actually, it's, it's fine. It's fine. Look at this. Oh, right into the... Oh, right, except I... Nah, I forgot that it was just going to shoot the shield off of that. Oops. 
It was almost ingenious. Instead, it was idiotic. All right, let's do that. Let's uh, get a drone out and do some damage. Okay, so we lose a drone. That is all right. We get three damage going here. Let's do this. Get rid of the basic block. Um, space mine, amazing. Block the three. And then I don't have the energy for this, even though I had the card play. But I have the heal. Yeah, we should do that. That's just. Oh, it's it's temp. It was just temp shield. It did nothing. I guess it. No, it it matters because it got rid of the temp shield, so that actually did damage. Okay, space mine being pretty awesome here. Let's get rid of the core. Put out the space mine. Does the seeker work this time? It actually does. But first, we should get a dodge for the future. Then we can seek. Grazer beam coming into play there. That's nice. Oh, the, well, okay. So it got temp shield, then it shot, lost some of the shield. So I guess it might matter because there's less temp shield going around now. I suppose we solar breeze first, then we put out no, it doesn't work. We need to do something else like that. Then we put out the attack drone. Then we parallel shift. This, I don't have any energy. God darn it. This thing, eh. Maybe it would actually matter for this to only require three cards instead of four. Because I feel like it keeps not coming out of the right missile. Or not coming out of the right thing. And then by the time I make it come out of the right thing, I don't have enough energy. It's kind of awkward. I'd have to move to be able to use my my missile bays, but then I also get hit by the five. Nah, fine. I have so much stuff. Let's put a drone out. Solar breeze doesn't quite work. First, let's make a mine. Then, oh, I get to heal from this. Fine, we'll do it. Uh, then we'll solar breeze. And sure, let's just dodge. Okay. Draw. Move. You know, I wanna just use this. Let's just do what it takes to make that happen. Okay, I heal from this. And then I can kill with this. Long turns. We don't want any of this stuff. Okay, so here I mostly want the repair bays. In this case, it means I have to fight an elite to get all three. That's fine. I'll get an artifact. Alright, do we still want to be upgrading or start removing some of this trash? I feel like I have enough free stuff. I don't need my basic cards to cost zero. So it's just a matter of whether I want to upgrade. Actually, upgrading this to flip makes a lot of sense because if I don't have a shard I can play this for the damage I can actually like play this before I play a shard for example just to do damage and not get the block which I don't care about as much is this does this upgrade oh my god this actually upgrades I didn't realize these things upgraded hold on oh my god so maybe it is worth taking those cards now this actually does something it um, draws you a card in addition to being a free play for flow state Fascinating. So it's a free card draw, kind of. If I play energy and draw into it, then I can't play it. Or I can get rid of the exhaust, which seems silly. Oh my god, there's so much to think about. Oh no, I don't want to remove it. I'm, I'm looking at upgrades. I can make two of those. I can make it not exhaust. Okay, you know what? Let's just get rid of this block. We know it's bad. Let's just get rid of it. And call it a day. Minefield, oh yes, okay. So we're just gonna take the safe approach here. Just get a random one instead of paying two HP to get a choice. First stack pierces, fine. Okay, let's remove another card. This basic shot needs to go. And then an elite. All right, we got the Karodi one. This can be a little bit scary. So we get our free card play first. Seeker, this looks amazing. Yeah, we dodged out of the three cannon. We can space mine to block that. And then, do I spend? 
my one evade to get a drone here. No, I think that's a bit aggressive. Let's just uh, do this and call it a day. Any turn on this bot and this elite when you're not taking damage is a good turn because remember, it's gonna kill itself with this thing. Okay, let's put this out. Let's bubble up. And then, if, ah, unfortunately, this thing ends up shooting in the gap. So I'd have to spend evade, which I don't think is worth doing. Which means either I pay a shard to do two damage, or I just get rid of the core for the future. Or I could do both. Oh, because <laughs> the core doesn't care what missile bay is active. All right, we'll just pass there. So we're getting energy. We have not taken hull. We have full shield. That's all terrific. Cloud save. What the hell are we doing with cloud save? Um, I guess getting another crystal. Okay. I think I'm going to be a little bit aggressive. We'll solar breeze. And then this allows us to stick a space mine here. And then we can also seeker just to dodge that completely. Um, this blows up the missile. Oh, oh no, th this is fine. We can, um, we can just, ah, oh, God. I really want to play this, but it's coming out of the wrong thing. If I play this, it blows up my missile, which is basically means I get to play that for an extra damage. This is ridiculous. I'm just gonna have to turn. <laughs> Probably not the most optimal thing there, but I was just so frustrated by thinking about that. You're gonna move so you're hitting me? Yeah, of course you are. Okay, well we can block a three. This blocks a lot of the incoming damage, honestly. And I think I need to, I think I need to do this. I think that was just it was my last evade, but it was too good not to do. Okay, so here we're fine. We're taking no damage thanks to this wonderful gap. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think the seeker thing works. No, it actually totally works. Oh my god. Wow. The gap still. The gap holds. All right. I can't solar breeze though, and I can't avid reader because it misses. Hilarious. Uh, this will do one damage with the grazer beam. So I guess I might as well do a damage with the grazer beam. Look at that. Look at that value. Alrighty. Well, it certainly looks scary, but secret, man, seeker A, what a boss card. All right, now we'll, we can draw this. I will do an extra damage if it went into that one instead. So we'll do this. Shoot. Oh, that didn't heal me. Oh my god. I just took a damage for no reason. Oh boy. Oh boy. It's happening. The brain's starting to go. Jeez. Okay, that was that was incredibly dumb taking a damage if I die because of that. I deserve it. Overclock. Next status. Do I have statuses? Don't believe I have any statuses. Yeah, there's no statuses here, so we're just gonna pass on that and pass on that. Oh my god, we got it. Your missile bay gains armor. We have two missile bays, they each gain armor. It's incredible. Hey, this is actually incredible too. Oh my gosh, that is good, the heal booster, because it means that if I get the heal from this, I actually get a net heal, which is solid. I still question how good that card is, because it seems pretty bad, but you know. All right, we're definitely gonna get a crystal. We're definitely gonna block the damage. Okay, so we don't have any stress about, you know, taking damage. Let's just draw cards. Seeker A for damage. Yeah, let's put this kind of close to the enemy for now and then we'll Seeker. We're gonna move all the way over. Okay, I guess putting that there was not the correct decision then. Okay. Free card play. Mm, am I gonna use my one evade? 
All right, let's use the one evade. Get a drone. Get another drone. Go get a dodge, how lovely. Let's bubble up our energy drone. And we'll just get rid of the core. Uh huh. Okie doke. Well, um, unfortunately, okay, we'll do this. This does not heal me. Do I want a parallel shift? Fine. This lets me put a space mine there. And then we'll just pass. Okay, I'm taking no damage. Thanks for that. Do I seek her? That would mean I'm taking damage. Hilarious. Okay, let's do this. Uh, let's draw a card. Draw more cards. Seeker would let me do this thing. Fine. I did blow up. I that did. That was just for the movement. It was it was idiotic. I should have solar breezed first, then I could have actually done that correctly. As it is, we don't want a solar breeze because then we get shot at. I know I can actually push it back, but I don't think it's worth the card draw when I'm already at zero energy. Oh, I get fears added to my. I don't know why this works though. Like if it's retain, it's not taking up card space. I don't entirely understand that card. Okay, let's um put an attack drone here. Let's. Mm, crap! I can't get the things to come out of the right spot. Oh no no! I space mine out in the middle of nowhere, and then we actually get a net heal off of that with my shards. There we go. Okay. Sure, we'll re-roll to not take any armor damage, fine. Okay, I have two fears, I still don't know what they do. I don't really understand, like I noticed I still drew my four cards. So if anyone understands that mechanic, please let me know. Now we can just get out of the way, do a secret missile, draw cards. Um, I can return a card to my hand. You know what I really need? With my last repair bay, I need to make this the, um, the exhaust version so I can bring it back with cloud save and just use cloud save as a kind of evasion. Parallel shift does not accomplish anything. We'll just pass. Two space mines getting hit here. Grazer beam doing some work over there. That's lovely. Okay, now we can just kill it. Uh -huh, we got the Striker Squadron. This is the one that gives out two shielded drones, but you get two less energy next turn. We're taking it. Oh, this one. It shoots homing missiles, has a lot of armor, and it like flies far away from you, so the homing missiles keep hitting. Luckily, my missile bays are armored, so the homing missiles that it shoots out only do one damage. What I'm going to do here, though, is pretty aggressively block one of these missiles. Because I know that that thing is going to be a problem. In fact, we'll bubble field to keep that out. Okay, let's basic dodge to turn on this cannon, shoot for a bunch. It's piercer, so it goes through. I may try to use that to cheat this fight, not have to go through all this armor. Yeah, so it's about to shoot out some homing missiles. Luckily, um, we can seek her. Seek her, I hardly know her. All right, so we'll do this. Even though, it, against the homing missiles, it may not be that relevant. I could even bring it back and have it come out later. Um, let's do that. Fine. We'll try it. And then we'll get an energy thing out to make up for the energy I lost with this. We have a lot of armor to deal with these homing missiles. Okay, now it's back in the mainland, so to speak. I wish I could do this without damaging myself. I don't think it's worth doing if I'm gonna hurt myself. Let's parallel shift. And then here, I'm gonna do the admin deploy so that the attack drone B comes out of here and blocks that missile. I'm still not sure yet whether I'm gonna try to cheat with piercer to not have to kill all this armor. But for the moment, I'm content to just block the missile shots. Okay, we'll solar breeze there. We need to switch where we're shooting so that this 
hits. We switch again. Now this is gonna only hit shield. That's fine. Okay, so it looks like we're just gonna have to fight through the armor. That's okay. Hmm. I could actually do this. Yeah, so we'll crystal shard. We'll lightning in a bottle to switch our missile and get the free hit. We'll go over here and this now heals me and gets some damage going. Solar Breeze, and I can make a Striker Squadron, which does not block the missile, but that's okay. We'll just make it, and then we'll use our drone shift to put things into position. We'll get rid of the core here, I suppose, and we'll get rid of this dumb parallel shift. It does nothing, but I want to get it out of my deck. Okay, so the Piercer artifact didn't actually end up mattering there. That's fine. We are gonna win. Just in case we'll do a seeker. Oh god, this one happens first. Okay, but luckily I, it just it's just the shield, so it's fine. Okay, pass. And then let's commit, let's make cloud save a way for us to get more dodges. All right, I feel pretty good about this. I hope we can actually win this one. So we're definitely gonna play the crystal. We're definitely putting old reliable to block this five cannon. We're getting hit for just two. If you're not playing this, what are you doing with your life? Yep. Get the squadron out. Each of those does two damage, by the way. Drop guard. Bubble field on the thing to block this cannon for more turns. Absolutely. Okay. This thing's blocking itself. I'm taking no damage. Terrific. So we reroll to switch what thing was we're shooting out of. We put out the attack drone B. Note it's gonna shoot this. It's not gonna do damage, but it will concuss it so it gets to keep the shield. Get our two dodge. Energy drone, coming out of the wrong spot. Well, they're both the wrong spot, so we don't play it this turn, unfortunately. Grazer beam putting in work on those gaps. Okay. Here, Solar Breeze puts that out of the way. That feels rough, but what am I doing with my turn here? I gotta draw cards to do something. Hey, Seeker, okay. So first, we put a Space Mine for two damage. Then, we Seeker the hell out of there. Can't play Energy Drone B again, so I suppose we just get rid of the trash. I mean, I could evade. No, I, I don't think I care about the energy enough to do that. I got a shard from this, which is neat. Okay, getting hit for two, that's fine. So, what do we do here? We mage hand. Wrong spot. Cloud save. I do love striker squadron B, but no, let's just keep it simple. Let's get dodge, play it safe. Get the drone out, get more dodge. Take two armor, sure. Okay, so we can block this with Solar Breeze. Seems fine. Lightning Bottle for a free card play. Draw cards. I actually can do this. At the moment, it's just only gonna be a Grazer Beam. So I suppose we put that the Attack Drone here. Oh, right. It, my cannons are just not in the right position at all, fundamentally, to do this. Okay, very well. We'll move here. Do this shot. It actually did all the damage because of the piercer, which is nice. I could parallel shift, what, which accomplishes what? Saves this drone? Okay. And then we, I guess, get rid of the corrupted core and the trash, which is nice. That's two junk cards out of the deck. God, love this transdimensional cockpit. Oh, man. I, yeah, that was a good choice. That, that thing is ridiculous. Okay. We don't have any shards for Mage Hand, so it's just a shield. But I guess we just play stuff to get Avid Reader going. Space Mine, block of damage, fine. Energy Drone B, oh, that just dies for nothing. Well, not for nothing. It still blocks a damage, which I can just block by drone shifting anyways. 
Yeah. Oh, but it's, 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 it's not even a damage, it's a missile bay. This, this accomplishes absolutely nothing. Okay, all this accomplishes is it lets me shoot my Avid Reader, so fine. We'll waste it for the three damage. Okay. Big missile and the five miss. The two does nothing. So I'm just taking one and I can block it with reroll. Perfect. Let's actually get rid of reroll permanently. Uh-huh. Keep drawing. Mage hand. It does do the damage. Sure. It's piercer, so it actually does the full. Now we got to switch so that this actually works, which means we play trash. And then we do two damage with that. Not bad. The attack drones are really good in this fight in front of these concussive spaces because they protect themselves. Okay, speaking of which, let's drone out of this missile bay. Space mine out of that one. Look at that power. Look at that power. Uh, I can Seeker, which accomplishes very little. I'm not really sure I even... Fine. Do we stick a drone out of here? Fine. Do we Solar Breeze? No, that means I get hit. Unless I want to do this, but I don't have any energy for it, so we'll just pass. Razor Beam, Grazer Beam value. I gotta say, I was very happy with those space mines. Having the, the thing is with, with the regular ships, with the, all the other ship, ships, you know, having the space mine can be annoying because you have the one missile bay, you, you shoot one thing out of it, and then like you don't get to shoot anything else out of it. But with this ship, with the two missile bays, it really is a lot easier to have multiple missile bay themed cards in your deck. I'm playing this just for the card, just to see what I can draw, because my hand is kind of garbage and doesn't do anything. Okay, that's fine. Um, this is just this is just grazer beam. I could, mm, I could play it. I could play this and then play this. It would have been nice to be able to play this, but I'm one off. I never got the upgrade that lets it only trigger off of three cards, which apparently would have made a pretty big difference. You know what? Let's just mage hand for one grazer beam damage, and the armor matters because I am getting hit here. And I could do this for three. Yeah, all right. I mean, it's the final battle. I seem to be in pretty good shape, getting some good damage on with all these drones that have just randomly stuck around somehow. So, we're fine with it. This five is killing a drone, but it's missing me. The parallel shift is actually incredible here. Saves the drone, and it concusses these so they don't hit my ship. Let's uh, chuck a space mine out of here. Shard it up. <laughs> Shard it up, baby! And then that isn't the way of a drone, unfortunately. Okay. Now what? Attack drone, be sure. Solar breeze. Little iffy, actually. But fine. Space mine. Wrong, wrong slot. Wrong slot! Uh, grazer beam. One damage. Space mine. And I can do this for grazer beam! <laughs> okay. Oh, we sure got to live the drone dream here, just cranking out a bunch of garbage into the middle row. Right, that was slow. The Gemini ship, bit bit slower on the gameplay there. But thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like and or subscribe. I'll see you again soon. Take care. And of course, if you want to stick around for this stuff. Actually, I since I clicked for it through it too fast. Oh, if you pick books, you have to pick someone else because books isn't one of the ones that restores memories. I forgot about that. Okay. We get a memory. That's, oh, I guess, okay. so Isaac and Riggs are done now, which means I need to make sure that, well, at the moment, I don't need to make sure of anything. I just need to make sure that whoever I fill up next, I don't do a run with that character and Isaac and Riggs. So if I fill up Max, then Max-Isaac-Riggs is a combo I gotta make sure I avoid. All right, everybody, I'll see you again soon. Take care.